So here's just a little quick tutorial. I've seen a lot of uh, people make control rigs and it's it's cool. Control rig is great. I love control rig. However, one thing that I'm convinced of is that we could be doing them a little bit more expediently and a little bit faster. So uh, I'm going to take my character here. I'm just going to find them. And, you know, this is sort of a disorganized scene, but like this is just, you know, quick demonstration. I'm going to go to create and then I'm going to hit control rig. So then I'll hit control rig here. And the new control rig systems in Unreal 5 are so good. I'm going to grab everything that's important to me. So that's going to be the pelvis, the spine, second spine column, clavicle, upper arm, lower arm, hand. I'm going to skip all the fingers for now. Uh, I'm going to leave the twist bones alone. I'm going to grab the clavicle, upper arm, lower arm, the hand. And I'm also going to grab my neck and my head. I'm going to grab the calf, thigh, the foot, and the ball. And the thigh, calf, foot, and the ball. So now that I have all of this selected, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click Add Controls for Selected. And then suddenly everything is aligned here under this identical hierarchy that respects everything about the rig. That's freaking amazing. Something that's really cool is like now that everything's in the right place and has its proper offset, if you look over here, everything has its offset. It's exactly where we'd want it to be offset. Um, and this kind of makes sure that all of the bones are aligned with all the controls. I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to create an item array. I'm going to go back through once again. I'm going to grab my pelvis, my spine, clav. You get it. You follow me. I'm going to grab all of the stuff. Now that I got all of those, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create an item array. If we comp compare these side to side, we're not going to want to leave this open. But there should be the same number of elements here. Now, I actually can see that that's not the case. So I need to look, I need to look into this a little bit. Do we have any bones that we didn't want? Like, what's not lining up? It seems like maybe when I grabbed, and this is something to look out for, it seems like maybe when I grabbed my hierarchy, I didn't have everything untwirled so that like I, I missed a few things. Let me just make sure these are all the, all, all the same. We want to like line everything up too. And we want to make sure that each of these has the correct and exact same name. So I'm seeing that they're the same length, which is good. Pelvis, spine, bone, clavicle. For the most part, yeah. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a for each loop. So the um, you can just drag this out and go for each. And this is like pretty much the same as it is in regular blueprints. Now, an important thing with control rig is it can get a little ahead of itself if you're not ready. So I'm going to not connect our forward solve until the very last minute. So we want to we want to use an at node in regular blueprints. Get is what we would use to find a specific item in an array. For whatever reason, in control rig, it's called at. We are going to grab single element here. We're going to get transform. And then we're going to use the edit index from the first list to grab that here. And then now we can set the transform for each bone. So the index, the indices are identical, right? So we have the identical control matched with the identical bone. And then it really should just be a matter of like hooking this up. You want propagate to children on as always to make sure that these things are affecting these other things. So then let's, let's hook it up. So when we compile this, you should see that things are actually working now. My uh, entire rig just got made. You know, we're not quite done with this yet. Like the whole point of a control rig is to have something that's really convenient to be able to change. So um, I can go in now and I can just make my shape properties the way I want. You know, I, I have my own uh, little way I like to do things. I like my center column to be yellow. Um, and I like my, uh, my left to be blue and my right to be red. So I'm just going to go through here and like, I'm just going to create like a little rough control rig just based on all this stuff. So I'll start with my pelvis and I'll, uh, I'll do like a thick circle. So this will be like a yellow and uh, we'll do that here. And then, you know, still, I still can't see it and it's like, it's kind of wrong. So like this happens a lot in control rig and this is, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, one thing I can do, which is really cool, I'm going to like turn off my uh, forward solve for a second and uh, I'm going to like sort of like 
push everything out here. And it looks really weird, so like maybe you want to do this step first. I don't know, up to you. <laughs> but cuz like you're you're kind of like creating something funky, you know, with all these other shapes. But um what you can do is you can get set shape transform from current and then, you know, you can manually edit the shapes that way, which is great. And like so now that I've got like a shape color and a shape size that I like, like I can just copy that data. So, and I'll do that same, you know, like I'll do that for you know, um, I'm also going to grab the, where's the the neck and the head? Like, I want those all to be these circles. So I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to grab that same color yellow, copy it. I'm going to go through. And then I'm going to yeah, make sure I got everything that I need here. Yeah. And then paste the yellow. And then lastly, I can do the same thing with the transform, except with the the transform, the transform's a little bit uh, simpler because I can just like select the entire transform. So like I'll do the same thing here. I will grab all of these. It is still a little repetitive. Like control rig is you know still not a hundred percent like automatic, but let's just paste there. You know, and we like we can still edit these too. So like that's like maybe where I want that to be. So then I'm going to set shape from current and my head gets back the right size again. You know, actually for my head, like I often like that above, above that, and it looks really funny when you do this. Um, I always panic a little bit because like I never want to see my rig deformed that much at any point in the process. But like this is, you know, this is not a bad place to be. Uh, set shape from current. But you start to get the idea. I'll, show, I'll just show a few more things. So I'm going to go with the, for the knees, I'm going to grab a half circle thick. Now I'm going to like, they are on their own little track here. I wonder if I can like, I'm going to like set that to global, push that out here. And then can I create something like that, set shape from current. And then all good there. I'm going to pick my different like side colors for everything. So like this is my uh, this is my left side. So I like that to be blue. For some reason my brain always just makes everything left blue and everything and right is red. Like you can always remember right is red really easily even if you get confused. I also like to make FKs and IK slightly different colors. Like I'll do a more cyan with the uh, with an FK. So I'm going to just I'm going to grab everything on that side and same with my hands and I'm just going to copy all the colors over. And suddenly you can see you can see where I'm going with this. This just gets like much faster, much easier. Now, theoretically, we can do the exact same situation when it comes time to execute our reverse solve. So I'm just going to copy all of my nodes. I'm going to paste them over and I'm going to create my backwards solve here. I'm going to set that up, but I'm just going to switch my different arrays here. Now that might need a little tweaking because backwards solve works a little bit differently. Um, but ultimately, if you want to create your keyframes, like what people are used to doing in Control Rig is wiring up every single bone forwards and backwards. If there's more characters we want to make, there's more rigs we want to make for more characters. And, you know, especially if you're you're an indie level and you're not like trying to take all day with it, like this is really, really crucial. So now because we have a Control Rig tied to this model, if I drag out this model, I should be able to just reach into control rig. See, I have it selected, so I'm going to add my selected actor, you know, or I could drop, drag and drop it up from the outliner here. Now I'm going to go track, control rig, asset space control rig, and then you can see here I have my rig. But this has been like a, a little quick control rig tutorial, uh, just something to help you uh, get started quickly and waste a little bit less time. 